I don't know what you're talking about. And you can't just barge in here slinging accusations when you've got no proof. Oh, we've got proof. We know it was Sam's key that was used, so I guess we'll just have to turn him over to the police instead. Don't be ridiculous! We've already fired him. I mean, it's a shame I've always liked Sam, and I know how scared he is about going back to prison. I don't suppose he'll ever get a job again once he comes out, either. Mum. OK, it wasn't Sam, it was me. I just... I was trying to do this for Sarah. You have always had it in for my family. How can you know even the victims in this? The jewellers are the ones who have lost out, and they'll be well insured. You stole my 50 grand. You are going to go to prison for a really long time because I'm going to make sure of it. Um, excuse me. Don't pretend you two are angels. Everyone knows that you framed Amber. You're actually the reason that Sarah's got to deal with the cancer without a dad here. He doesn't even know how sick she is. You know the difference between us lot? We look after our kids, whereas you... Well, you get yours locked up to save your own skin, don't you? So the bottom line is, you owe us way more than I talk. Why don't you tell that to the police? I'm sure they'll agree that having a sick kid is reason to go on the rob. I don't think you should do that. Well, we can't let this skank get away with it. At least wait till Dad gets here. He's on his way. There's something going on. They seem to have abandoned the bar. I wonder what it is. I have no idea, but Chrissy obviously hates charity as much as I do. Uh, I wouldn't expect to drink anytime soon. Huh? Backroom showdown. Ooh. Oh, and, um, sorry I bailed on your book club. Oh, it's all right. You weren't the only one. Anyway, I'm over all that now. I've decided to write my own book. Ooh. Ooh. I'd really like your opinion on what I've done so far. I'd love that. Oh. It's just the first chapter. I've got loads more ideas. <laughs> oh, no, first. I want to hear about that big robbery yesterday. Oh, wow, well, I missed out on most of the action. <laughs> oh, shame you weren't there, Dad. You'd have caught the bad guys. I think it's safer to leave the police to put them behind bars. <laughs> Dad, she has admitted everything. We can't let her get away with this. Hang on, you're the experts on getting away with stuff, aren't you? Cos Lachlan's the only one paying for what you did to Andy. I'm not here to talk about that. No, I bet you're not. I mean, come on, you've already made Sarah lose her dad. What are you going to do now? Make her lose her granny charity as well, are you? Listen, I'm not saying what she did was right, but she was trying to help us get the money for Sarah. Haven't you done enough to this family? I, I am sick of your sob stories. You know she was behind the 50 grand going missing. Is that true? We're wasting our time. I'm going to call the police and they can lock her up. No, Re Rebecca? All I know is that if I was desperate, I'd do anything to help you if I had to. I can't believe you're considering going soft on them. You know, it's not going to wash them. No, no, no! calling the police! We need to think about this. We'll talk it through at home. You can't be serious. Yeah, do as Daddy says and ran along, cos you know what? We're all sick of hearing your voice. I bet Lucky's enjoying the break, isn't he? No, no, no. Pardon Come on, me! Man. I will wipe that smile off your face, you bitch! She's not worth it. Don't let her get to you. This is not over. You need caging! Come on, Chrissy! 